Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just want to welcome everyone to the first episode of the Boombox Guru Podcast. I'm your host, LB, the Boombox Guru. And this first episode is really more so of a welcoming episode. Uh, Of course, later on, I want to cover some very uh, tragic news that's happened recently in the rock world, rock and metal world. But I just wanted to begin this episode to welcome everybody to this podcast and just give you a bit of a rundown of what I'm trying to do, what my focus is to start this thing off. So basically, I'm a music lover, a huge music fan. And talking about music, that's one of the main topics of any discussion that I have. I just really enjoy researching and having in-depth discussions about music no matter what the genre is whatever i'm listening to whatever artist or band that i'm focused on at the moment i just really like to dig in deep and learn the history of where these artists started and where they come from and i like to have discussions about it and i do have a few friends in my life that i can have those discussions with but unfortunately i don't see those people 24 7 and there's not a lot of other people in my life. Not too many of my other friends are into music as much as I am. So talking to them about certain things, it would just fall on deaf ears. They would probably just look at me like I'm crazy or very uninterested in what I'm trying to talk to them about. So I want to use this podcast basically as more of an outlet for me to scratch that itch of wanting to talk about music constantly because I have so many thoughts, so many theories that run through my head when it comes to reflecting on certain bands, artists, and genres, and I just need to get it out. I just want to get it out, just have it there for maybe historical purposes, something that I could go back to and listen to over and over again to maybe reiterate a point that I'm trying to make to someone. It's just me just wanting to talk about music so that that's why i've labeled this podcast more of music commentary because i just want to be able to discuss different topics that go along with it whether it be some news that is taking place with a particular artist or band or some type of a some type of discussion about certain issues that are taking place within the music landscape that i could talk to with a like-minded individual that's really my basis. I just want to talk music nonstop. And I feel that this podcast is the perfect outlet for me to do that. That way I don't have to just walk around my house all day with these ideas and these these theories and such as roaming around in my brain and not being able to get them out in a positive and proper way. So I finally decided that, hey, podcasts are really taking off. A lot of people are creating podcasts as a way to discuss or maybe demonstrate just a way to tap into their creative side. So I felt that, you know what, this is something that I need to do. And who knows? Who knows where this could go? I'm hoping that it could it can take off and that I could use this as a career later in life. Or however, whenever whenever it starts, I I really could see myself doing this as a full-time gig, as a full-time career. So that's my goal with this podcast. And it aligns with something that I really enjoy. I really enjoy music. I like music. And I know that's a bit cliche because you can say, hey, everybody likes music. But my rebuttal to that would be, while everybody may like music, not everyone exactly appreciates music. You have a lot of people out here that take music for granted. They just listen to it because it's there to listen to, or they might just use it as background noise. People will casually just turn on the radio. I'm not that type of person. Listening to music for me is like when you're reading a book. You know when you read a book and it's really good, it takes you to another place. You know, if the author is really great at writing, he or she will be able to put these images of whatever is going on in that book and you can visualize it. 
And that's what music does for me as well. When I'm listening to songs, I visualize the artists or the bands. I visualize what they're doing. I, I can either visualize them performing the songs live or visualize my own my own version of a video of how the song could go. That's just how I do. That's just how I do. I'm you know, I I don't take it for granted either. It's something that I've always had ever since I was a little kid. Listening to music has always done it. It's always taken me to another place. You could basically say in a nutshell that it's a safe haven for me when other things weren't possibly going right in my life. Music was always something that I could go to that made me feel comfortable, that made me feel better. And not only that, but I've learned a lot from a lot of the music that I listen to. There's a lot of artists out here who actually can teach you stuff through their music, whether it be a quote, some type of message that they want to get through. Music is a great medium for that. And I, I can give you an example. One of my favorite rappers, or should I say MCs, is Too Short. And one of his most popular songs is a song called The Ghetto. And he had a line in one of the verses in that song that said, even though some people give you no respect, be intelligent when you put them in check. Because when you're ignorant, you get treated that way. And when you're thrown in jail, you got nothing to say. When I first heard that line in that song, it blew me away. And I had to rewind the song and just hear that line over and over again. And as you can see, I memorized it. It's stuck in my head. And it's actually something that I've applied to my life. And that's one of the many things that I enjoy about music. It does that for me. I can listen to music and sometimes if it's a positive thing or even if it's a negative thing, I can learn something from it. I can learn something from it. So it's a huge part of my personality. It's shaped and molded who I am as a person. And that's why I wanted to make this podcast to really to really explain that and really just I guess you could say it's more of my appreciation for music and what it's done for me in my life and the positive things that it's done for me I just wanted to share that with other listeners because there may be other people out there who have similar stories such as mine and this could be a great thing for them to listen to and it could even inspire them to want to start their own show or whatever but it's just awesome I'm very thankful and grateful that we have podcast now to where you can do these type of type of things and I can honestly tell you that in the past I actually went to school for broadcasting and production technology and there was one class that I took I don't quite remember the name of it but I remember in that class I actually was doing podcasts now that I think about it part of my projects I was creating podcasts the the, the clock excuse me the class was basically it was basically a class that let you let you create your own projects and what I did was I I did podcasts I did album reviews I took specific albums that I was possibly listening to at that time and I made podcasts about them I, I, I did these great album reviews about these records and these artists and I, I did I, I did really well with them I did really well with that and I'm I'm using that as inspiration to really go forward and to just stick it out with this podcast. So I'm just hoping that to all the people that come across this show and listen to it, I just hope that my content will be up to par because I am a beginner with this. I am a beginner with this, but I'm just hoping that I can share uh, some like-minded hobbies or just share just share my love for music with other like-minded individuals basically but that's that's what i wanted to say as far as my welcome welcoming some of you guys to check out this podcast so i want to turn it over to some very tragic news that's happened some of you probably already know by now probably by the time that i actually publish this podcast most of everybody will more than likely know about it but of course we we all know that the great eddie van halen has passed away he passed away from throat cancer i believe which was something he had been battling for 10 years i believe that's what his son wolfgang 
announced when he made the announcement this morning that his father had passed. And I just want to say rest in peace to Eddie Van Halen. My condolences goes out to all the members of Van Halen, those who are presently in the band, those who are former members, and especially my heart goes out to his brother Alex Van Halen. You know, he they were brothers, man. I mean, the band was called Van Halen. They started the band. And man, it's you know, Van Halen was one of the first rock bands I ever remember seeing as a kid. They used to talk about Van Halen all the time on VH1 back in the day. The video Jump, they showed that video constantly. Jump was that Jump is actually one of my favorite songs from Van Halen. I know it gets a lot of crap by people because it was a far departure from what the earlier albums were, especially when you talk about that first Van Halen record. Cuz that first Van Halen album, that's that's honestly their heaviest record and their most heavy metal album. A lot of good tracks off of that first Van Halen record. And you know, it's just, you know, we're losing so many iconic rock musicians. Well, not just rock musicians, but just so many music artists we're losing. And it's a reminder that, you know, these people are human too. Because we see these people and we put them up on, up on such a high pedestal because of their great talent and where their talent is taking them. And when things like this happen... It, it brings us down to reality and it, and it helps us to realize that yeah, as great and as talented as these people are, they're still human. But man, this, this, this is a really big blow to the rock and metal community because Eddie Van Halen was such a great influence and such a great contributor to this scene. I mean, his guitar solo for, for Eruption if you've never heard the, the guitar solo that he did on the song, on the instrumental song Eruption from the first Van Halen record, I want you to stop listening to this show right now. Go on YouTube or whatever you use to find music and listen to it. If you've never heard Eruption, you need to stop right now. You need to press pause on this right now and go listen to Eruption because that changed the game. That changed the game. I can't tell you how many guitarists in rock and heavy metal, hard rock, heavy metal, I should say. I can't tell you how many guitarists were blown away and have said that that guitar solo for Eruption is what made them change the way they play. I can't I can't begin to tell you how many people have said that. How many artists have said that from Dimebag Daryl? All the way to, man, just so many countless others. I mean, Carrie King from Slayer, uh, Jeff Hanneman as well. All, all these guys, or musicians, I shouldn't just say guys, but all these musicians, these guitar heroes that we have, so many of them were inspired by that. And I know I mentioned Dime by, Di, excuse me, Dime Bag Daryl. RIP, RIP to him too. I believe he was buried. He was buried with the the guitar that Eddie Van Halen had on. Was it the was it the back of Van Halen too? I can't think of the name of that guitar. I'm sorry. I should know that. I can't think of the name of the guitar that Van, Van that Eddie Van Halen had on the back of. It was I think it was Van Halen too. But he actually gave that guitar to the to to the Abbott family, and they they buried it with Dimebag. Because Dimebag always loved that guitar. It's but the actual I believe it was the actual guitar that he had on there. He they it's buried with Dimebag Daryl. But man, like I said, Eddie Van Halen was a guitar virtuoso. And not just the eruption, but just to hear his guitar tone. You you always know a Van Halen song when it came on by Eddie Van Halen's guitar tone. You always knew it. he had that he had a signature tone that was great, that was really excellent. And like I said, if you ain't never heard Eruption, you really need to go and listen to that song because it it changed the game. It it really it really just blew people's minds because not not a lot of people had ever heard a guitar being played like that. I don't think anybody beforehand had heard a guitar being played that way. 
I know you had other bands before then. You know, you had Led Zeppelin, you had Black Sabbath, you had Priest, you had all these other bands, Deep Purple, that came out before Van Halen. But I don't think a lot of, I don't know if any of them was really playing the guitar the way Eddie Van Halen did it. Because it has such a profound effect and impact on the rock and metal scene. But man, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, I, I'm not going to say it's a shame because, you know, you know, pe- people, people pass away. We're not, we're not going to be here forever. Physically, at least we're not going to be here forever. But my condolences goes out to his family, his friends, everybody, his son, especially his son, Wolfgang, his, his son, Wolfgang was playing in Van Halen. He replaced the Mark Anthony. After he was either kicked out of the band or he he left the band, but he, I mean, his son was playing in the band with his dad. Now his dad is gone, you know. And I, I don't know. I I don't I don't know if Van Halen can continue anymore. It's it's really it's in the past few years it's been up in the air whether. They're even still a band. I mean, the, I think the last album they dropped was back in 2012. I think, the, yeah, I believe the last album they dropped was back in 2012. And that was when uh, David Lee Roth had come back into the band. That was the first album he had did with them in years. We, and you know, we all know the history and stories behind that situation. But honestly, I don't... I think this is it for Van Halen. I don't I don't really see Van Halen continuing like this. But maybe they will. Maybe they will. But, you know, the big part of Van Halen's sound was Eddie's guitar. That was a big part of Van Halen's sound was his guitar. So, I don't know. But that's going to be it for this first episode of the Boombox Guru And before I end, once again, I just want to say, you know, rest in peace to Eddie Van Halen. My condolences goes out to all his loved ones, everyone that is uh, tremendously being affected by his death, the fans, you know, just RIP to him. And hey, Eddie put out some great records and he single handedly changed the way guitar players play their guitar. So I just want to end it with that. And I hope you guys will look forward to checking out my podcast. I look forward to making more episodes with you guys as well. So this has been the first episode of the Boombox Guru. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Have a blessed day and peace out.